This is Zichru Simanim Bababasra Daf Kof Tes. Kof Tes, we say it fast, is a kit. So what do we think of a Hatzalah kit, of course? And we look at this picture and what we see is, we see that there's someone that was nifter. There's a woman crying in a chair. And the Hatzalah man that came to survey the scene are handing something over to the younger woman who's the daughter of the nifter. So now let's go through this slowly. The Hatzalah members, the Hatzalah members are Hatzalah kit. So they're handing a Yerusha card. They're telling the daughter, by the way, you're the one that's going to get the inheritance of the deceased. There were no children. There was no Ben, excuse me. So the boss comes next. Who comes after the boss? Then comes the grandfather and then comes the uncle. Secondly, we have this woman crying in the chair. This woman crying in the chair is the deceased's wife is the mother, and she's upset. Why is she upset? Because the nachal is not going to go into her family. Why? Because mishpacha's aim, inay krua mishpacha, and therefore her children, her her siblings, her father, is not going to be the one to get this inheritance. And finally, as we finish looking at this incredible picture, we notice that there's a beautiful picture on the wall that says that one should always cling to good people. Why? Because the fame, the Pinchas, Pinchas came from whom? Came from Aaron and Elisheva. Now let's dive a little bit deeper. So we have this Hatzalah kit because Dav Kof Tez sounds like a kit that they're giving over a Nachla card. And the Gemara is giving a second drasha in how we learn out that the Seder Anachla is at first it goes to a son, then it goes up to the father, and then it goes to the brother. But after it goes to the son, before it goes up to the father, it goes to the daughter. Vahavartem is the second pasik that teaches Vahavartem is Nachlasa Lebitai, that it's going to go to the daughter before it's going to pass over before it goes up to the father, as that is the Yerusha card being handed to this girl, but that it goes to her before it goes up to the grandfather and to the uncles. Secondly, we have um, the woman crying over here on the chair. Her mother, the deceased husband, is crying. Why? Because mishpacha zeim inay krua mishpacha. And this is a question going back in the first lima that we learned in yesterday's daf. And we learned in the pickpocketer, the woman pickpocketing the husband. And over there we learned that the drasha is from She'irai, teaching that the father inherits the son, asks the Gemara, which She'er? Maybe it's the mother's She'er. So says the Gemara, Mishpachta, Mishpachas Av, Kriya Mishpacha, Mishpachas Aim, Enoi, Kriya Mishpacha. We had a cash off from the fact that we certainly find times where it goes after the mother. And we answered that no, that the priest that b- worshipped the pestle of Micha was not actually being referred to by the Mishpacha of the mother, but rather, that's why it's being referred to as from the lineage of Menashe. And finally, we have this picture of the wall. This is what teaches us that Moshe Rabbeinu married Yisrael. And therefore, what came out of him was not a, such a desirous child, was the Aina son, who was this priest who worshipped the Avodah Zara. Whereas, on the other hand, we have Aaron who married Elisheva, who was from the righteous family, came from her eventually, Pinchas, who was the incredible tzaddik that he was. So the three points, when we think of Dav Kof Tes, we have a kit, we have the Atzala members rushing to the scene of this person that died, handing the woman the Yerusha card, showing that she, the daughter, comes the next in inheritance because there's no son, because of the Havartem, a second Lima teaching that it goes down to the children first. We have a woman crying because she, the Yerusha, is not going to go into her family because Mishbacha Zeim, Eine Krua Mishbacha. And the picture on the wall reminding us, we should cling to good people because Aaron marries Elisheva and therefore eventually comes from Pinchas, then Pinchas, whereas Meshavin, who married Yisrael, came from them, Yahinasan.